What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be reviewing PDF Elements. Now straight off the bat, this is a sponsored video, however I will be completely honest with you of my opinion of the software. At the end of the video I will be given a breakdown, rating it out of 10. So what is PDF Elements? In brief, it simply allows you to edit PDFs and it's super simple as I'll show you in the video. Okay, so towards the end of the video, we'll be rating the user interface, the speed of the software, the ease of use, and the features. Here we are on Wondershare PDF Element. Now, the first thing you might notice is the UI looks very similar to Microsoft Office. Now, that's one benefit that I find about this software, simply because I am familiar with Microsoft's Office itself. The UI is really nice. It's really crisp. It's really easy to navigate around. So the main reason you probably want this software is, of course, to edit a PDF. And that's the first thing I'm going to be showing you how simple it is to actually do. So we're going to head over to Edit PDF. And from there, it's going to ask you to open up the file. So you can see I'm opening a file. Just like that, it is now open. And this is, believe it or not, this is a PDF. And you can see how simple this has opened up and how it actually looks to edit. It looks exactly like you've opened this up in Microsoft Office. So getting started, how you work around this. At the top here, of course, you've got the home button, but we're gonna be starting off over here where it says edit. And right from here, you get full control. So for example, if you wanna add an image, you can select insert picture to this document. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add on my logo again. I know it's already at the top left, but I'm gonna add it on again. So you can see, this is my logo. I'm just gonna left click it and I'll size this down. So there you go, here's the logo. And as you can see, as I'm now dragging it around, we get all these lines which pop up, which I find very useful in terms for aligning. So you can see we've got lines going across, but also get lines going down. Just like that, I've positioned it there. Of course, above all that, we can also add our own text as well. So if we come down, we select add text. We can just left click here and we can begin to put in some text that we want to. There we go. I'm going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to highlight this. As you can see, I'm then going to left click and drag it around to reposition it. Again, we get all these lines, helps us aligning the text just like this. Over to the side, of course, you can get control of the font, the size, the color, whether you want it bold, italic, line through it, etc. Now, bear in mind, this part here is, of course, the main PDF. So, of course, you wouldn't usually be able to edit it. However, if you head over to the top and select edit text and image object, you can then go ahead, left click anywhere you want to, and we can simply put anything we want to. So you can see it is literally like you've opened up a Word document, except this of course is a PDF and you can edit straight into the software. And again, you can also adjust the fonts over to the side on the right here. And you can also, of course, add your own watermark. So if there's already one there, you would select update watermark. If there's a one, you can select remove watermark. Or of course, you can just select new watermark and I'll just type in here. You can choose style, which is basically just the fonts you can pick from. So I'll select this here. We can also then choose again the font color, the, whether you want it bold, italic or underlined. And then at the bottom here, you can choose the opacity. Of course, most people want this to be turned down simply because it is a watermark. So if you do just simply select OK before doing this and it comes out super thick, this is why. So once you're happy, just select OK. It's going to process just like that. That is now in place. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to go back and edit it, select watermark and update watermark. And if you want to remove it, select watermark and remove watermark. From here, of course, you get edit background, which is just the background color. We can also then choose editing on the footer, header and footer. So we can select remove header and footer. And it says, are you sure you want to delete the current ones, which of course is testing the header. As you can see, it has just removed them like that. Bear in mind, that was part of the PDF file and it's just been simply removed like that. Final thing you get here is the edit baits number so you can remove or add them. Now moving on, we can head over to the conversion side. So you can see here we have OCR. Now what this OCR function is, it recognizes scanned images as searchable and editable text, which is super cool. Now, as you can see, this uh, one right here doesn't actually have any scanned images. So I cannot actually show you this feature. However, it is very, very useful. But of course, the main thing we are gonna be doing when we are in the conversion tab is converting a PDF to Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. Now. 
it's pretty amazing. So even though this itself feels like we're on Word right now, even though it's a PDF editor, you can actually convert to Word. As you can see, would you like to save before converting? Just select yes. It's going to save that document for the edits you have created. We're then going to save it to our desktop. That's going to be converting to a Word file. As you can see, it is converted on my desktop now. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Bear in mind, I don't actually have Word. I have LibreOffice. So that is now what this file is going to be opening up into. And it's open on my second monitor. So if I drag it across, this is it right here. So as you can see, exactly what we have edited or what we actually done was put the logo in the top left. You can see we get full control if we want to add or remove it right from LibreOffice or of course Word or even Google Docs. Wherever you open, whatever you use for Word documents, it will be editable in that format. Now the final thing I would like to show you is if you are working with a bunch of PDFs and you would like them to be converted to Word. Super, super simple. You can do it in one or two simple ways and I'll be showing you that now. Now I'm just going to show you this file. There are 40 files. Of course, they're going to be the exact same document. However, they are all PDFs, as you can see right here. And all we're firstly going to be doing is selecting batch process. And here we're going to drag and drop all of them right here. So you can see 40 successfully loaded all PDFs. As you can see over to the side, it says the output format. Most likely you're going to want it in Word. However, you can see you do get other options here to choose from. Now, the main thing is probably going to be Word that most people will be using this for. So I'm going to select Word on this occasion. Once you're happy with everything, all you need to do is select Start. Now, once you select Start, at the bottom here, we've got a bar going across. Here it tells us how many are successful out of how many we actually put in. So as you can see, it's going through super quick. It's also adding tick marks next to the ones which are done. And it's a very, very quick process. It's very impressive with the amount of files it can convert within such a short period of time. As you can see, it is successful, all 40. We can select finished. And on my second monitor, it has opened up. As you can see, all the Word documents are here. And of course, all the PDFs are below. So that's 40 Word documents, as you can see, just converted like that within about 30 seconds. Super simple and super, super quick. So now we're getting onto the rating. Of course, all of this is my opinion. So if you disagree or if you agree, let me know in the comments. The user interface, I'm going to give a 10. Now, the main reason I am personally giving a 10 is simply because it looks like Microsoft Office and I am very familiar with that. For the speed of the software, I'm going to give it a 7.5. And the reason for that is because when I was using it, when I wasn't recording, it was a bit slow and a bit of lagging. Ease of use, I'm going to give it a 9. Again, this is probably more personal to me simply because I'm familiar with Microsoft Office. Someone who isn't might find it more difficult. But to be honest, I think everything is right in front of you so you're able to access everything you need. And the features, I'm going to give it a solid 10. It suits its purpose. It's to edit a PDF. You can literally do whatever you want to a PDF and I have no issues there.